Hey, what is up guys? My name is Jonathan and today I'm going to cover going over the basics of unwrapping uh, preparing yourself uh, to, to really learn texture mapping. So essentially what is texture mapping and we're just going to kind of do a base overview of what it is and really what texture mapping is, it's, um, it's defined as applying 2D data to a 3D object. So we're going to be applying a 2D image to a 3D mesh. Um, and, and a good way to wrap your mind around that in the, th in the 3D world is to think of origami. So I think origami is a good example of um, kind of getting a base understanding of what texture mapping is going to be. So essentially if we took Pikachu here and we unfolded him, he'd be a flat piece of paper and you would draw on that piece of paper and then you would put that piece of paper back and fold it up the way you had it. And, and that's essentially what we're doing to a model. You know, we're, we're taking a model and we're unfolding it and we're going to be painting on it. Um, and then we, we essentially wrap that back up. So now knowing that, we're going to move forward here. So what we're going to do, we're going to create something very simple here. We're going to start with a box. And um, I'm not going to focus too much on the like intermediate techniques of unwrapping. And so I'm just going to use some base, uh, base workflows here to um, just kind of get you off to, the, off to the races here. So we have our box. And now what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to your modifier panel and find unwrap UVW and there it is there and by the way probably the coolest box you'll ever see it's just that just is what it is <laughs> I just had to say it um, so anyway alright so we open up our UV editor here and um, we're gonna select all the polygons control A that I'm all selected and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go we're gonna go to mapping and unfold mapping and this is going to give us a, just a base result for boxes something like boxes are they're stupid simple um, to do so um, this is just a very straightforward example so this is for beginners we're just kind of getting our minds wrapped around how to unwrap 3d objects so um, so we have our 3d mesh and I always like to convert it to an editable poly I'm an, edi I'm an editable poly guy not a mesh guy and um, so anyway, all right, we're going to go back to, sorry, we're going to go back and we're going to apply that, UV, that UVW modifier again. We're going to open that up, and we have a result here. Now what we want to do is we want to go to Tools, and we want to go to Render UVW Template. And 1K is fine. It's going to default at 1K, and we're going to render that out. And it gives us, a, it gives us an image of our, of our wireframe, of our, of our UV. So we're going to save this image out, and we're just going to call this Box... UVW.png and I already have one out there. I save over it and that's all we need to do. So we can actually, well, we'll leave that on for now. But what we're going to do now is we're going to actually bust into Photoshop and we're going to bring that that template we just rendered out into Photoshop here. So um, name things quick. You always want to name things. Get, a, get in the habit of doing that. It's just uh, It'll save you on your job, of course, but it's always good for you. Um, it, it helps you as an artist know what you're doing and where things are at, etc. So, um, all right, now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, we're going to number this box up quick. And I'm not going to just going to roll through this rope fast. I don't want to waste your time. Um, it's you know repetitive here, but uh, re repetition is the way to learn. So I didn't want to do that. My Photoshop's kind of laggy, so bear with me. I need a computer upgrade real soon, real soon. So, um, actually, the better way of doing this is we're just gonna we're just gonna select in the, in the squares here, make something quick and easy. Okay, let's base and let's just start adding colors. We like we like green. So like, like yellow, I like that yellow color, right? Let's put some yellow on it. Let me add some yellow. There we go. We got some yellow. Let's rock some, uh, we'll rock some red. You know what? Nah. Screw red. We're gonna go orange. Red's a little too in your face for me. And let's rock some, some purple. 
And last color is what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Maybe we do go with red. <laughs> All right, let's go with red. All right, so let's burn through this here. Now, what we want, what we want, sorry, what we want to do is understand um, how this box is lined up, how how this is unwrapped. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go before we start numbering it because you're gonna see why. You gotta have things lined up correctly. You just can't start throwing numbers around because. Numbers are going to be upside down, and we don't want that, right? We want to get it right. So, um, sorry, I'm just trying to clear off this uh, checker pattern here so we can get a better look at what we're doing. And um, I just have two screens, but uh, real quick, let me let me apply a. There we go. Apply material to that box. So we're not looking at a black box. And uh, so no, what we want to do here is we want to hit our polygon mode here, and make sure to not select all the available here. So we're going to click, we're going to select this middle square, and we're going to understand where is this middle square. So that middle square is on the bottom, and we can actually start with that. So let's start uh, going back in Photoshop here. Like I said, bear with me, my computer is a little laggy running the recording software. So, all right, we're going to go back in here. We're going to open up our layers here, and uh, let's type a, okay, we got, we're going to go with a one. All right, I believe I, I, believe I clicked one. <laughs> I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Here's to hoping. All right, and, um, and really, since it's on the bottom, it's on its own square, we can really kind of, this can actually, this number can be uh, in any position. So, all right, we're good there. We got our one. All right, now, so we know the bottom is the one, so we can select these other squares, and we can kind of realize um, where these folds are. So if this is our bottom and this is our one, that means that uh, we're going we're gonna to make this a two, and that means this two is going to need to be upright, so just as you would see it. So we're going to place a two just like that. So we just want it straight up and down. Enter that, and let's make it a two. Man, I'm just, I'm, I'm clicking, guys. Bear, bear, bear with me, please. Bear with me. I swear it'll work. I swear, I, pro I promise you. I promise you. Right, and actually, it's a little squished, so let's just fix that up. All right, so we got our two. We're going to go back into max here now, and let's select this next square. So this next square is, okay, that's where our fold's going to be. So this three is going to want to be upside down. So for now we're going to take that two and come back here. And we're going to make that upside, turn it upside down. And we're going to make that a three. And we have a three. All right. And uh, next let's hit this square up here. And we see our fold is right here. So our fold is right there. And it means the four is going to want to go that way. So we're going to take that three, and we're going to want to rotate it this way here. And and this is this is just a great uh, example. I mean, this the box method is is been you know widely demonstrated, and I, I just want to get one out there for myself here. And uh, the more free knowledge out there, the better, right? And um, and this is just a great way to learn just the basics. So all right, now we're going to select this square here, and we're going to understand the creases here. So our crease is there, and we're going to want to put a 5 there. So let's put a 5 there. Rocking a 5, rocking a 5. And we are rocking 5s. There's our 5. So you, and you can kind of see that here. So you can kind of see um, if this is the bottom square, you can kind of, it just makes sense. You know, every number is going to be kind of, flailed out like um, think of even if you were to open up a cardboard box you know um, so what's great about 3d is 3d is very real world practical and um, yeah it just it all coincides so this one really again it really doesn't matter but we'll probably since we have our fold here here and here I mean we could put the six up this way so why don't we do that so the six is really gonna follow the five And oh, did another five and another six. Not fifty-six, John six. Come on. You're probably like, why is this guy teaching us tutorials? He can't even type numbers right. 
Um, so we're all set here, guys. Now we're going to save this image out. And we're going to save it as a PNG. I already have one kind of in place. So we're going to overwrite this box to fuse. Save. Always love the PNG format. It's a good format to get into the habit of using. Um, and we're going to go back here now. And we're going to open up our material editor, which are, I use shortcuts, but um, it's right here. Material. Material editor. And um, I have this material already placed. I'm going to drag that uh, box diffuse into our material editor. Bam. And let's just zoom in here. And we're going to connect the dots. And then what we want to do also is we want to turn on show shaded in viewport so that way we can see it in our viewport here. Um, so we'll back this up, close that out. And um, now we, what we can also do is we can go back to our um, unwrap UVW modifier. And like I said, we'll open it back up, even though it was just open. And we can go from this drop down, we can now select that texture applied. So we can actually see, we can see the texture sheet uh, applied right here in the view. So, and as you can see, all numbers look good. We're gonna double check that, but yeah, it looks good. We got all our numbers facing up, all Z up. And the BZ up or YB up, that's Z up. And um, yeah, it looks good. So uh, I hope that helped, guys. I hope that gave you kind of a basic understanding of what tax texture mapping is, unwrapping texture mapping. I mean, obviously, this is not an, an in-depth tutorial by any means. Um, this is very the basics of unwrapping. I mean, I just hit a couple buttons to unwrap the box. Um, but I will create, a, create another tutorial here real soon. Um, going into uh, more intermediate uh, you know, unwrapping objects, and I'm going to use some complex objects to unwrap. and. And we'll just dive into uh, things a little bit deeper. And I might create a couple, few tutorials just to kind of dive in, dive in deeper. So going over options here and, and different things and stitching and making seams, all that stuff. So, um, so anyway, I hope that helped, guys. Uh, keep your eyes open for future stuff. Thanks for stopping by. Hope it helped.